What's up, YouTube? Oh, I'm getting ready to rough in my wiring. And uh, I've seen how a lot of other people do it. But I got turned on to this MC cable. So it already has the uh, protective conduit on it and the wires are already inside of it. But it's a little confusing when you go to the store to check out the boxes. So luckily there's been electricians that an electrician recommended I use that cable and then an electrician put me on to the thing. And, but what was confusing me was, yeah, the cable, it'll plug right into this connector here. To, it's a one-way ticket. Snaps in there and that snaps into the box. But then I thought I was stuck with having to use this type of cover and you're not. So if you use these metal boxes and they go flush with the studs, you use this thing, what they call a mud ring, and it goes in there like that. And now my, it, this is a quarter inch mud ring. So the confusing thing was the only thing Home, Home Depot had was five eighths, half inch, five eighths, or three quarter inch mud rings. But at the electrical supply place, they had these in quarter inch. So now, the quarter inch uh, plywood will go, the wall plywood will go right up to that box. The cover plate, you know, it'll, this is a double for a single, but, but anyhow. So this is the system I'm using. I am not an, a, a professional electrician, so I'm just showing you what I'm doing. And, but I am going to have a, a professional electrician come and uh, check it over when I get done to make sure I've done everything correctly or help me make all the final connections. But anyhow, it appears to me from what I've learned so far that you use this connect, this, this 4x4 box for this system. You use this 4x4 box everywhere and where you only want one thing, you put in a cover plate like that. When you want two things in there, you put in a cover plate like this. So this is a flat cover plate and it won't work with the quarter inch plywood. And I also checked with the electrician guy when I was there and said, well, can I just push this box off a quarter of an inch? Uh, anyways, the easiest thing and the way that meets the code and everything is to use the components that are all made to go together and that quarter inch mud ring totally solves my problem. I hope this becomes clear as we go along. Yes. Are you moving that tape again? How many times are you going to retape that? <laughs> Hopefully this is the last time. <laughs> well, we got online finally and got smart. We know we want to get IKEA cabinets and didn't realize their measurements are different. So um, we're remarking it a little bit according to IKEA cabinets now. So. I got two boxes in on the wall and figured out where the microwave's going to be, where the box needs to be, and the shelf for it. So this Craig system is so cool because I can add these two by fours in so easy. I love that. And I can take them out and change them when Shelly changes her mind. Uh-uh. I'm not changing my mind. I'm really thinking this through, hopefully, right now. <laughs> now. Now. I don't want to go back and make any changes, but I am grateful that we have the opportunity to be able to make changes if we need to, so we are thinking in that direction, so that's good. All right, I'm getting ready to pull the first one down in. I got my little, for anybody that's going to ask, yes, I did put that in where I cut it. And then I pulled that into here, this one-way MC connector. Now all I gotta do should be able to just pull this in. There we go. We got one in. Which is around the corner. To the microwave. To the microwave. I think I'll have the electrician do the hookup part and just, uh, you know, so I can pull the wire to the boxes and do all the physical labor and then he can come and make sure I've done it all right. And if I've done anything wrong, I 
can correct it, and that way I won't have to pay him so much. Right? Right. And we can have peace of mind that it's hooked up right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>